So I'm out here at Hughes Water Gardens with Eamon Hughes, and you might remember a while ago you showed us how to make a five-minute water bowl, and yeah. true to your word, Eamon, it was five minutes and it was ready. Yeah. Now, there's soil in here, so I know it ain't going to be a true water bowl. <laughs> What's going on? Well, it's a mixture. We call it sort of a terrestrial water bowl. <laughs> so there's an element of water so you can have the sound, but it'll broaden your palate of nice. plants you can use throughout you know, the rest of the year uh -huh. when a lot of the water plants would traditionally be down. Well, I noticed that th this looks like this is going to be the water feature, and these are relatively new to you guys, aren't they? They are. There's a local artist, Michael Stewart, who uh, has been making some of these, and he, he has some great uh, pieces throughout our nursery that he's done miniature landscapes. So he also sells us these little mushrooms, which have a hole in them, and we put a little pump in the bottom here. It's a small reservoir, and it's just recirculated through this system here. So the water really is self-contained self -contained in the water bowl. That and then we're going to plant around it. Well, that, that sounds like all kinds of fun. Now, um, do you make, when you, when you do these, do you know if there's like a concept of, like you want to put wet plants together, dry plants together, stuff like that? The one we put together today will have some, um, they're aquatic plants, but also bog plants, so mm -hmm. they would need a little more moisture within the soils and, and keeping them. But you can also go with sedums and do nice. a totally dry uh, landscape around the water here. So if you're on vacation, you don't have to worry too much about sure. watering it. But we'll, we'll, we'll assemble quickly. Have you got the clock going now? We have our, let, okay, we'll right do here. This in four minutes. <laughs> and these are all plants that you can get these at These are all Hughes. plants. This is a miniature uh, king tut. It's one of the giant papyrus. Uh -huh. Normally it's eight, ten feet. But this is the height of this one, no nice. bigger. But nice. it's a lovely texture on it. Great foliage. And you had your uh, spaces marked out here so he, he wouldn't let me tear up the I soil for him. I wouldn't let him touch him. He was messing <laughs> with my mind. And this is a pickerel, pickerel weed, blue pickerel weed. Again, we'll flower all summer. We've I love the variation of the thick it. foliage versus the very the thinly delicate foliage. One. Very nice. And then this is Nacorus ogon, a little gold variegation. It'll also flow over the bowl mm -hmm. a little. Now, I'm so assuming for the water. sake of, of, of us doing this right here, normally you would actually be planting these yeah, in the pot. Yeah, we deep pot all of these. Okay. We're just getting the, the mix ready. And you can play with them. While they're in the pot, you can do this and just see how your combination is coming together, sure. how your foliage is matching. Sometimes you don't want clashing foliage or color. Mm -hmm. And here, that's coming on that one. I'm going to undo the, the cable here. And we'll thread that through the back. This will just be plugged in later. Okay. So it's also nice in the foreground. This will be the main viewing area from the front. And, and that's just a little uh, calbrochia, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And you just pop, pop that in there. That'll trail all down the front. And then it's really a lot of the same there? principles as making a water bowl. A strain a regular just... bowl or a water bowl. And here's a little stone crop. It's got a nice little bit of pink variegation on uh -huh. it, and then the flower on it. And I think that would look well just tucked in there. Because that'll drape over as that'll well. That'll drape over as well. So do I get to do the uh, honors of plugging it in? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think what we should do is we'll plug it in and see how she goes. All right, here we are. Look at that. There's your little water. And then you can fill in with, uh, after your soil is filled in, you can put an, uh, other bigger rocks in there. Really, it's pretty Yeah, I brought some over this way. We'll fill it on up and then we'll show the viewers. We'll spend another two minutes on it and just finish this out, get it filled up and get these rocks on and show the finished piece. Okay, let's do that. Hey, thanks, man. Well, here we are with the finished product. Are you ready for me to plug it in? Plug it in, let's see what we have. And it's, wow. it's beautiful, and you know, really, everybody, we only, we, when we pulled all the plants out, it took us exactly about five and a half minutes to put this together. Yeah. It's really a quick project and absolutely stunning. It's wonderful, I mean, there's such interest on your, on your, on your patio all year. And, and I so. loved what you said about, you know, if you wanted, if you have a dryer thing, you can use sedums. Um, and put in like a dry bed instead totally of Totally dry, stuff. and you can use some crushed rock in there. It can look very, very pretty, and even some driftwood. Uh -huh. Be sculptural. You can play with it, aside from the flowing water. And it really is a miniature landscape. I it love is. that about it. 
Well, you know, if you have any other questions, I would certainly invite you to go to Hughes.com or better yet, come out to their wonderful store, talk to their staff, and I'm sure they'd be more than willing to go through the steps with you and help you set one of these up for your own garden. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you very much.